Hello everyone, my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my three best helmets that are priced under the 10,000 rupee mark. Let's begin. First up, the Royal Enfield Open Face Helmet. Now, we've all seen this helmet almost everywhere. For starters, it does come complimentary with the purchase of your Royal Enfield motorcycle. People use this helmet for all sorts of purposes, be it touring in the mountains, I myself have used that, and getting groceries from the market. With mesh and polyester internals, the helmet does feel pretty comfortable. The visor is UV treated for enhanced protection from the sun, but it is advisable to have your own eyewear handy because it has enough room for that. The visor is also supposedly scratch resistant, but you can manage to get scratched if you don't treat it well. It is very easy to remove the visor should you wish to clean it after a long tour or performing your regular maintenance work. It's just these two screws, one over here, one over here. It comes with a micrometric lock and this one weighs a mere 1000 grams only which is very light. This one would cost you about 1750 rupees for the matte black variant. Now, being DOT and ISI certified, the shell is made up of high impact grade thermoplastic which will save you from your mom's beating if you forget those groceries. Next up, the Torque T50 3 quarters open face helmet with the Flying Tiger graphic. This is a classic retro helmet which costed me about 8,000 rupees. I mean, this surely makes a lot of head turn in the traffic thanks to that graphic. That why? I mean, look at it. Which is why I bought the helmet. It looks cool. It has a polycarbonate shell which suits intermediate oval head shape. While the headliner is not removable, the cheek pad can be, should you wish to wash it. It's pretty easy to remove it and put it back also. The synthetic suede material is excellent in soaking up all the moisture and sweat and it keeps your head rather cool and dry. It has got quilted stitching with some mesh to provide some airflow but it has no exterior ventilation vents to give you a nice airflow, which means your head will get sweaty on long tours if you don't have a balaclava, which I strongly suggest you should buy one. The helmet comes with a double D-ring retention strap and also comes with a strap at the back should you wish to sport your favorite riding goggles. You just need to make the riding goggles inside it, secure it and Voila, this comes on. Dun, da, da, da. Retro looking helmet, which is retroer after adding the goggles. It also comes with five snaps, which means you have access to basically all sorts of bubble shield accessories. For starters, I have this chrome one, which is from Piltwell. It's a pretty nice one. You just have to secure the middle one first. You hear that click? And then the side one. There you go. The helmet looks aesthetically very, very cool. Functionally, not so much. I'll tell you what I mean. For starters, at high speeds, It'll make that rattling noise, which can be a little annoying, but you'll get used to it if you're really into retro looking helmets. Also, you can't really open the visor while driving the motorcycle or in traffic because you can't. For that, you would need an additional bracket. This one would cost you around 1500 rupees and it's basically an equipment that comes between the visor and the helmet to give you 
that I'll show you. You just take these snaps. And then due to this bracket, the shield will get a little bit stretched, but that's okay. They're made of a high grade plastic and they can withstand and are a little bit flexible. And after installing this, it looks a bit chunky, but gives you the option of opening the helmet. I've had this helmet for about three, three and a half years, which as you can see, it's pretty much wearing off. That's okay, I love this helmet. It's your ideal helmet for cruising in the city on your Royal Enfield, Cafe Racers or Harley Davidson. My latest and most secure full face helmet, the Bell Qualifier. It comes in a lot of color options, but I settled for a mere matte black version. This helmet has quickly become my favorite go-to helmet for long and short distances. The cheek pads fit my face exceptionally well. Come to the soft neck roll at the back, which feels very comfortable. The standard D-ring retention strap and fits intermediate oval head shape. This shell is also made of polycarbonate. The cheek pads are also removable and features additional compartments for speakers, which is pretty sweet deal. This one weighs about 1,700 grams only, which is very light. Has a glove operable vent at the chin, two at the top, and four ventilation vents at the rear. And it also comes with a quick release visor lock, which is pretty handy should you wish to clean the visor, and I do clean my visor very regularly. The visor also has a fog proof coating, which is very helpful in the winter traffic in New Delhi or anywhere else. And putting it back on is pretty easy. You just align the grooves together and just get a press and it's secure. I mean, a budget helmet with all these features, it's pretty awesome. To balance all that awesomeness, the shield mechanism feels very loud and noisy. Speaking of noisy, this helmet does not block out the road noise whatsoever. But it doesn't bother me because the second the helmet is on, I'm pretty satisfied with that. The helmet is only DOT rated, which means a lot of track people will stay away from it, which is good for me. You must be wondering, you said only three helmets, right? Why is it still standing here? Well, let me bring out the crown jewel. Da -da -da -da. The Novelty German Motorcycle Helmet. It is not DOT approved. It is not ISI approved. It has some sort of a foam padding inside it. It's okay. But <laughs> it's not that secure. I mean, I can just make a dent in it with just my bare hands. This has pros and cons, okay? I'll start with the cons because there's just one. This is a half face helmet, which will protect only half of your face. I mean, there are chances of it protecting half of your face because in the event of a fatal accident, it will not protect you at all. I mean, and that one con is more than enough to overshadow all the pros and pros are quite a few. For starters, this is available everywhere. Amazon, eBay, you name it. This costs less than 1,000 rupees. Pretty sweet. You can carry this everywhere without having to worry about a few scratches here and there. Because it's that cheap. It's pretty easy to secure it on a motorcycle should you wish to do that. That's it. This helmet is pretty light and it's not even 1,000 grams and is less than 1,000 rupees. Even if it does get stolen, just buy another one. And the major reason why this helmet comes in handy is for extremely short distances where you want to avoid getting tickets by a cop. That's all. So there you have it guys. My best helmets priced under the 10,000 rupee mark. Thank you for watching.